Fast ich gerne auch immer Tena. Sagt der Mann ja, was sagst du? Oh, wie kann ich sagen? Wow. Schön. <lacht> <lacht> yeah. uh, Leanne Crichton, thanks very much for coming on. Thanks for having us. Lovely to be here. What a day for it. What a performance you gave last night up on that stage. Absolutely shocking. <lacht> oh, it was terrible. <lacht> terrible. Well, what do you mean I beat you after it? First time in about two weeks. Uh, but that's because I let you win a first, the first couple. <laughs> to be fair, that's probably the biggest crowd I've played in. Same for you, do not it? By but the standard was good we used to, wasn't it? Yeah. I thought you were going to team, no way. You? Really so. Mad for the headers? Aye, because you just ran out of the touch. Aye. And out of the net, wasn't it? But she was trash talking us on the, on the pitch, eh? Well, I, I've heard you like that. She's like that. Trusting it. <laughs> I think it's a fair, that's fair, Leanne's like that. Terrible loser. The Glasgow girls were saying that you were the moniest on the pitch. 100%. Love that. Leanne Ross is up there though. Is she? Ah, definitely. You were, who were you getting on with? Joe. Joe. And Hayley. Good bunch. They are a good bunch. Great bunch. I actually met Hayley two years ago. And I didn't think she knew me. And she didn't think I knew her. And the two kind of went to say hi. And just walked by each other. And the two remembered it last night. It was a nice moment, actually. It was a nice moment, wasn't it? Was that your story there? Was that a story, eh? True story, eh? Yeah, well. But I think he was going to win the league that night. Because I was like, that's no right, like, somebody's going to win the league and a lot about the tune, do you know what I mean? I just thought, shoot, you should be getting escorted right to the fucking game, do you know what I mean? And Peter Silver talked about that last night as well, let's go into all that, but... No, it was a lovely moment then, but then you caught me off surprise as well, because you went, we know each other, but I don't think we really know each other. I know. And I started getting a wee bit shaky for it all. We've kind of crossed paths, haven't we? Aye, and never really. It was nice to catch up. Mm -hmm. Good to be here. Good story, is that, that Kev, isn't it? No, absolutely. There you go. That was terrible. <laughs> Kev, there is a video that's going to go up that will go viral. Me, I'm of this creepy guy, man. There's a creepy guy going about there making noises in the shower. Obviously, we've had some videos. We've had the Joker. Then we've had my one off the hoverboard. See this one. I preferred the cock mask, but I had. The cock mask was good. Yeah. See this one with him last night? <laughs> I think this is going to go viral. Well, I'll tell you a story about every after every show I go for a shower, and the last two weeks every single shower's been freezing. So last night I kept touching it and playing. Uh, Still talking no, about no, the no, 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 <laughs> 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 no, 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 Picked it up. I was broken in a few houses back in my day. Uh -huh. You can tell that. Aye. Uh, that's more maybe being locked out at night and trying to get, try get back in the house. But uh, no, this will be, uh, be a good But there's no arse, mate. You've got an arse. I went for your back to just hamstrings, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and how come we don't hear that much of arse? Don't know. Stand up, turning, let's see. No, I've got an arse in shorts, eh? What is it? Look. <laughs> That's a good art. That's decent, isn't it? Why does it disappear when you take your shorts off? I don't know why. It sucks in, doesn't it? What about the atmosphere here last night? Brilliant, wasn't it? Unbelievable for a Sunday night. We we were genuinely no surprise because we've seen the the videos, we've seen the crowds, like like some shows they've put on to be fair, like going strong, what did you say? Day sixteen. Sixteen, uh huh. Um so we never knew what to expect coming on a Sunday night, Scotland are out, people could have been a bit flat, but it was honestly it was unbelievable. Mm. Really, really good. And that was before even you boys came on, it was Yeah. Crowd have been unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, again, I actually think they were up there with the best last they night. Were because they keep, you see the ones that come, I think sometimes you feel the more people that's in here, the more atmosphere's created. And what was good last night, Simon, maybe not the best game of football it was on because it was a bit, at least the first half was a bit rubbish, but they're still singing, banging bins and singing Scotland songs and trying to get the crowd going. And it's just a proper party atmosphere because yeah. obviously they think, they think Sunday everybody thought we might have been here playing mm -hmm. against. I don't know who we'd have played against, but we'd have, we'd have been probably playing Sunday, I think yeah. that's why. And um, but we were only, but they came in. Great reception for us. Even you guys that come up on the stage and did your head tenders and stuff, you get a great reception and uh, nah, it's really, really, really good yeah. vibe about it. We need to give a shout out to the maintenance team at SWG3 as well. 
Kevin, the Jim Jeffries got stuck in the bath, so did they get the forklift to... That's brilliant how they done that. That was good, wasn't it? We're struggling with it to the moment, but... It's weird seeing him upside down by the ankles naked, wasn't it? <laughs> Smiling, mate. I try to tell you, I've just got to play golf for the next two weeks, mate. I'm busy. <laughs> uh, right, Grosvenor Sport, what a team they are. They're doing their bit. Uh, £10, any match you get three thirty pounds bet. What an offer, eh? Yeah. Uh, right, game last night, and he's watching. Nah. <laughs> they actually didn't watch a minute up there, did they? No, but seriously, the Portugal manager should be sacked. Bruno Fernandes sitting on the bench. I know, what is that all about? Seriously, like, what, ch what chance have you got? I understand that he is one of the better players, but... He is, uh, Tony Gallagher. Gary Holt's done. Oh, Gary Holt's done. Has he got his dog driving the train? <laughs> <laughs> That's the weirdest set-up I've ever seen there. Right. Right. But, by the way, can I say something? I'm pretty sure the guy just walked his dog in here. Let it there, pushing and walked back out. Am I right in saying that? <laughs> Did they come in? I didn't see them coming in. They've been here since last night. <laughs> Just Aye, about that. Wait, before we go into the game, sorry, we need to talk about the big match last night. I beat him at Eddie Tennis. Aye. It's the first one you've won in two weeks. I don't know about that. Oh, it was that a good happy, contest, happy, though. Happy, was it? Yeah, he's gone. Mm -hmm. He's gone, he's, he's gone. gone. He's gone. He's gone. He was so strong for so long, though, wasn't he? It's, uh, he's, just a, he's just a Boris Becker net player, isn't he? he? That's all he's got as he comes to the net. You were coming close as well. You were pressing the game up there. No did that freak you out a wee bit? A wee bit. Uh -huh. Lobbed a couple of times. Though. He did lob as a belter, yeah. actually. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. You had the Timberlands on top. I felt sorry for you playing <laughs> with them on. Good boots on. <laughs> I know. She never called But your reign's yeah. coming to an end as the head tennis king. Could they be Andy playing a wee game ahead? Oh, he's a shite bag, mate. Mate, seriously. He keeps telling you about how good his touch is and that. He'll not do the touch just test. Worried about his rep? He'll not do uh, head tennis. Big Charlie, be fair, nearly retired. Big Charlie, we'll grow that. I mean, the touch test is no easy. Right, because sometimes you do hear a bad touch. Obviously, I got absolutely abused. No, I had a bad touch, touch since about but 80, Andy, Andy 89. No, Andy's known the same, isn't he? <laughs> Andy's, Andy knows his limits. He's like, he knows if he does this or this, people are just going to write yeah. and say, that's why he's at Hearts. Contract to be ripped up. Aye. Hearts fans, are, obviously rip his contract Hearts fans are sick of watching him take a bad touch, isn't they? Aye. I think we can do that to Hearts fans throughout the summer. They've watched it all year. Uh, right, the game last night, on you go talk about it because I've got no idea what happened. What, were we on the Belgium game? But we'll go Belgium-Portugal to start, we're not the big one. Uh, to be fair, I thought it was quite a close contest. When you look at it over the course, like the chances, I think I always felt Portugal could have went through. I think when you've got Ronaldo in there, it's hard to write him off. Mm. To think like he's still at that level, he's been at that level for so long. Um, Diego Jota, he had a shocker. Doesn't pass the ball Ronaldo. Poor chances and Ronaldo's actually set him up a couple of times and you're looking at Ronaldo's body language and he's thinking, Maybe you could do that for me and I'll get in the box and they would have scored. Really, that's the chance. We Jota needs to know his role, doesn't he? You're there to set and I'll do it, mate. Stop 100%. trying to take the line, mate, man. Yeah, totally. You've got plenty of time for that. Give the ball to him. Absolutely, but I think Belgium, when you, they've maybe been a bit of a slow burner over the course of the tournament. They were one of the favourites, or if not the favourites. Um, but they've still no lit the tournament up. No. Like they're getting over the line. Decent enough performances, but not quite there. It will be interesting. I only think, I only think France has been the one that's shown a real team performance that you think they could go on. But whereas these things, say slow burner. Obviously, Fernandez didn't start, but How can you hasn't start, he, I know he, he hasn't been great in the mm -hmm. tournament. Like, mm -hmm. There's games where you've watched and, he, and he's been very, very quiet. And even yeah. last night when he came on, it probably suited him because um, Belgium had scored in the middle of the first half. The game opened up a bit, mm. so that mm -hmm. would allow Bruno, yeah. Bruno Fernandes to try and maybe like dictate a wee bit of the play. But but see when you've got the delivery like he's got, Kev, you've got Pepe there, you've got Ronaldo in the box. Fernandes should play every minute for mm -hmm. free kicks, corners alone. Hundred percent. You know I mean? But how big is set plays really? Yeah, massive. In every game, but yeah. especially in tournament football, mm -hmm. it's like one chance. Yeah, that's as, the as, difference as in the game. As many strings as Ronaldo got, one of his major strings is his aerial ability. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because he leaps from see from a standing position to get up. I think late on there was a ball come in, he flicked it and he flicked it on and your man got in the back post and he made a good save but no, I think in, in situations like that, sometimes you try to pass, pass, pass and break things down, it, teams get um, zoned in and it's very hard to pick their pockets whereas if you get the ball wide, Fernandes and Jota and guys that can get balls in the box, Ronaldo's going to get the end of something, if he doesn't get the end of something he might get a second ball. Yeah. And I think that's where the, the shot that hit the post, mm -hmm. that's how that yep. came about. Across in the box, got cleared, he's came in and he's hit the post. But, but even psychologically, who wants to pick Ronaldo up oh, for 90 minutes there. in the box? Do you, knowing that there's decent deliveries coming in? I would like to get tight done for 90 minutes. I would. Be touch tight, would you? <laughs> all game. Do you know who would like to get touch tight? 
<laughs> He's going to do it, isn't he? Martinez <laughs> is going to do it. How bad did that could do last Oh, night? we tried to do it the live show. We didn't do my shit sandwich, man. No, I don't think one person stood up, eh? <laughs> no, I've Even Andy getting involved for the first time and just sat back down. But Liam, who do you think is going to win it? Oh, Jen, I, you, you cannot call it at this stage. See, Italy for me, the first couple of games, absolutely flying. Um, and then they've almost fell off a cliff. They look yeah. as if they've got nothing left in the tank. They come up against Belgium, I think, in the next game. So even that, probably you're looking at a tight game. Maybe another 1-0, extra time, penalties. Uh, France, I don't think you can overlook them. I think when you look at the quality within their squad, they've been there, they've done it. They know how to go over the yeah. line. Um, big game players as well. I think England's going to do it. Whisper it again. I think England's going to go to the final. Rarely they win the final, but I think they're going to go to the if final. If they beat Germany tonight, uh, uh, tomorrow night. That's the one we need Germany to do, don't we? We need to say as well, there's tables for the night and tables for the Germany game tomorrow. Yep. So there's a few tables left. If okay. you want, there'll be a link in the yeah, description box. And by the way, how nice is that coffee? Beautiful. Mm, minted. Minted, <laughs> minted on Byers Road. What a coffee well, shop. We've actually got the main man here. <laughs> He's here if he wants to come on and make an appearance. He's a bit shy for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Are you sure, mate? <laughs> Is that the bit that does ice cream as well? Does ice cream as well, mate. Uh, you for... want me at least an ice cream, yeah. <laughs> Go for that, next. Last thing you need is an ice cream, mate. <laughs> uh, will that be the last we've seen Ronaldo at a major tournament? No, it comes no? next year. You think he'll go that? I think so. Uh, a year on? Absolutely. I just want you want him to play forever, don't you? I think he thinks he could play forever. Yeah. What has he lost, really? That you're, You wouldn't look at any yeah. aspect no, of his game point. just now and think his legs have gone, you know, or he's... He's no good at running players, he's no good at, he controls games. Yeah. Even for his position, he, he manages to influence everything that happens. I honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he's at the next Euros. He's that good and he's that fit, seriously. He's Is unbelievable. Maldini was like, he was still playing big, big tournaments at Fort. He'll be it playing centre-back. <laughs> Might, I would love that, would you? <laughs> Ronaldo just bossing at centre-back. Has he said it and has he said when he wants to retire that? He'll not retire, will he? No. Imagine, he's, imagine no. Ronaldo retiring and just driving a taxi or something. <laughs> How did that happen? Right? Numbers, so like there'll be some. As long as there's a record there to chase, you're be right. Healed, but, and even though he, I'm not saying his legs are gone, but what he doesn't do is what he doesn't do as well in his younger years. It's the spaces that he takes people into that allows spaces for other people to get into. It's like clever, and I just think that Qatar's only a year away. How many European games, extra mm. games, is he going to have to play from now till next year? It'll, it'll not be a problem. Yeah. Um, can I ask him? Of course you can. What did you make of Scotland? It's performance. Good, Paul. It's not even on the sheet and you've came up with over that. Like that. I'm going to go and wait a wee Over bit the now. course of the three games? Aye. I think it was really tough. Honestly, like, see that? When you look at now, right, hindsight's a brilliant thing. Look at Czech Republic yeah. last yeah. night. So yeah, you hedge your bets there. and thinking that that's going to be the Easy weakest team game. in the group. And it's almost you set yourself up for that failure. I think if the players could go back and relive it, they would approach that first game totally different. Yeah. Um, I think what was maybe disappointing is in the third game, Maybe have a, a bigger go at it earlier mm. on. Even at half time, I think you could have made changes and yeah. just put all your cards on the table. Um, maybe brought on a Patterson or a Forrest, get a bit more pace. Even with the two top strikers, I'm thinking two and a half games and we've, we've not really changed it. We've no, mm -hmm. we've no mixed it up. So, so you put in his button? But I think it's uh -huh, yeah. right, 100%. So I would have gave him 45. Players approach the Czech Republic, I'd give a bit better. I think the manager maybe should have a different team against the Czech Republic being the first game. Possibly uh, now when you look at it. I still think, I still believe that he was too cautious in the first game. It was a case of yeah. like, find your feet in the two on it, whereas I think mm -hmm. that was the one game, I know we're saying, now that the Czech Republic's at the quarter-final, right, they beat Holland last night 2-0. We drew with Holland 2-2 mm -hmm. before they get the tournament started. So Holland, I'm going to say Holland are the, the Holland of old, they're, they're all right. Yeah. So any good team that come up against them will probably turn them over, a bit like Italy. They've started the tournament well, mm -hmm. got themselves a quarter-final. A good team come up against them, they beat Italy. Yeah. So for me, I would like to have seen them still look at the Czech Republic game as that one game that we could have won in the group, but actually went and tried to win the game. I don't think we went to try and win the game. I think we went to just kind of see how... And I think like the occasion takes over. I mean, I was in the stadium that day and see them, like, I think the Scottish fans, footballers, were so emotional. And you could actually feel that. He was crying. See you then be on the pitch and try and put that out your mind. Remembering that they've not really played in front of fans either. Yeah. So having the fans, the Tartan Army, knowing that your friends and family are in the crowd, I genuinely think the occasion for the first half of the game probably got the better of them. And they played within themselves because there was that cautious approach where you're trying to stay in a game that you genuinely believe that you can go and win. Well, we've got 90 caps between us. So. <laughs> See, You're right. What is it? See, look, Jenny, see, going to major tournament, do you feel a lot of pressure back, back home? See, for us, honestly, we when we qualified, we felt the love 
of the nation because it, everybody had waited so long. So yeah. even when we went to the Euros in 2017, the Tartan Army came with us. Wow. And that was the first time for us we had genuinely felt that because yeah. when you see it here, like Scottish fans just love football. They'll support any team, whether it's our own or not. Um, but for us, that motivates me because we don't often get to play in front of big crowds or have your friends and families here at massive occasions. So I think for us as players, we embrace that because I've grown up watching big stadiums, mm. like big games, and the men's game, like that's what you are almost aspiring to be. So when you get to be part of that, for me personally, I loved it. But I think there's certain players that don't cope with that pressure of know. being in that environment. Name, and, name names, I'm always young. And then cameras got tenfold, you yeah. know, it's like everybody's in the spotlight. And even Stephen O'Donnell in the first game, you're thinking, if that wasn't such a big moment, like the touch under his foot wouldn't have impacted his game. But it's just because you know in the moment everybody's watching yeah. and it's how you respond. You said the Tartan Army there, but the fart, the, your dad and the Tartan Army were also <laughs> there supporting the girls, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, that time, I Caused quite trumpets, a stink, didn't they? Blowing their trumpets, weren't they? Non stop. <laughs> uh, right, we mentioned Holland, to, that was your team to support. They've been knocked out, who was supporting them? We've jinxed them, eh? Germany, innit? Quite a bit of Germans. But then, if we support them, there's a good chance they'll probably get knocked out. So why don't we support England? By the way, we also need to mention on Sean Maloney. His brother's over in Russia for six weeks, seen his bird. Not a picture of the brother in his house in sight. It's a full sh his house, right? Is a full shrine to Paul Slane. Mate, as it I, I've be. never seen a picture of his brother. Nay, word I lie. I didn't realise he had a brother until now. Aye, does not There's no mention in the brother. Is he the sheep of the family? What is he? No, that's when you walk into my house. He'd approach with three pictures of me in the hallway when you first walk in. So the pictures approach you. Pictures walk towards you. <laughs> Do you approach them? <laughs> and then you walk in the living room door, and then you've got the massive Imagine portrait. Imagine pictures walking up. Yeah. But then you go to Matt in the house, it's a big massive portrait when you're sitting watching the telly, it's right beside the telly, so you, you always have to see me, that's just the way in my house. All eyes on you. It's got to be like that, mate, innit? And uh, is, is, have you spoke to the brother over in Russia? I have, but I can't go into it too much, because I told you that story last night, but he'd kill me if I told you the one with the dust, being dusty. Ah, oh, tell it. No, I can't, he'd kill me, mate. Well, have you watched it? Aye. So he's got a, he's got a Russian girlfriend, that's right? Yeah. Uh -huh. And he's overstaying at her house for six weeks? Yeah. I had that, innit? Uh-huh. But I can't say too much about How it. How did they meet? I think she was there here doing something, and he must have wowed her. He must have wow wowed her? <laughs> <laughs> and does he speak Russian? Wee bits and bobs, you can speak it now. But I, I can't say too much about all this situation. You're trying to get something out here, and I know what you're trying to do. You're better than Russian. I had a wee pint with your sister yesterday as well. Tell me that. Who you did? Me and, uh, me and Melissa went for a wee drink. Oh, She's walked in, but you've went, to the, you've went to the toilet when you came in, and she walked in, and her face was chalk white when I walked downstairs. As if I'd caught you doing something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, so who was supporting Germany? Aye. I'm supporting I'm France. going to stick with Italy. Genuinely, I love, I've got to tell you, I Ritz, love so their performances well. in the first few games. Yeah. I'm hoping they find that again, because the front three, unbelievable. That goal that Lacatelli scored for the midfield, mm. love that. I, I think they've got an outstanding player, though. Yeah. Striker, I've a striker, I've seen they're all playing as a collective. But I think games and are the so big games. Games are so tight now, that we... Outstanding but it's whether they're brave enough though, because I think that's the problem. When you get to this stage, folks start to overthink their performances. If you're Italy and you've got those players, pace, energy, just go for it. Yeah. Don't you're try brilliant. Nah, she's that's on fire, amazing. isn't it? Would you say how you said, son. See how you said about the outstanding player? You need an outstanding player? Would you say Belgium? Hey, would you say Portugal's got one? Ronaldo. Correct, they do it. <laughs> 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 but they won the last tournament when he was at his peak, do you know what I mean? I know. He, was, yeah, he was a difference now. Nah, you're right. Nah. But nah. see the teams that are doing well, they are the teams that have got a focal point, you're right. Yeah. Like a, a main striker, nah, somebody 100%. that links no, the game. He said that he's just doing anything. Can you just go off on you? Uh -huh. Right. But like, even you're Belgium, right, like, right. Belgium last night, see Ben <coughs> Taku when he gets that ball and he brings it down and gets turned, man. Nobody can stop him. No. So he's, like, we, we put, we, you tipped him for top scorer, didn't you? No, I never tipped him. Andy. Off. Andy tipped him ahead. I've got me as well. But even Patrick Sheik, look at that. Oh, wow. Goals. I know, he's good, isn't he? And the difference that... Could they win it, Liam? The nah. A team like that? Nah. Why not? I don't, I don't think they'd have enough when it got to the, the last few games, but their performances and how they've been class. Who was the best... And they've taken their chances. Who was the best team you've played against in the World Cup? You just got absolutely robbed, by the way. That referee that last game when you were so embarrassing. Uh -huh. Six minutes or something, I don't but the ref didn't play the game for six minutes and then stopped it. But we spoke about this before, you were up and you weren't sure whether to go and try and score another goal or whether to sit off that's a that no, must which be a that's why feeling. like even Scotland the third game there, at least you knew three points was absolutely all you needed. Yeah. Just go and win the game because 
for us, we knew other teams would play the next day and that's always in your mind. And then you think goal difference and we get put out in the Euros because we fell short in goal difference, so you're always thinking and always chasing. Whereas when you look back after you throw it away, it's 3 now. You know why goal difference is poor? Too many set midfielders passing sideways and back you. That's me. That's why I never no. played. <laughs> no, you don't. You bomb on, don't you? She's, nah. like, she's compared herself to a Barry Ferguson type before. Sai Ferry. Sai Ferry. So what was it, see that game, was it, were you two, two or 3-0 three up? 3-0. Three and then what, did you just, three did you try sit in? Yeah, then it went 3-1, three, 3-2, three, then the penalty. The was penalty. it 3-0 at half time? Uh, no, 60 odd minutes, 60 I think. Minutes, yeah. And then you, you, dropped, and you, just, you just dropped in? And we were still chasing goals. We were going oh, for a fourth and then done in the counter. So did Shelley um, start shouting low block at 3-0? <laughs> Couldn't you hear it? It was too noisy. Is it? Oh, you should have yeah. just kept going for it, innit? I know. Because it was the momentum, was, I remember it was, it was building, wasn't it? Yeah. It was getting, well, if you look at it now, you just have sat in and protected. I know. So see how you that's the idea you say that you sat in, that we used told to sit in? No, we never sat in. We still no, chasing they, they because we felt caught. that the next day teams could heavily outscore us. So, so even at 3-0 for us, it was... It was from like, comfortably getting to the 3-0 stage and still going for it and then all of a sudden collapse? 3-0, counter-attack, 3-1... Uh, I think it was two actually, two counter attacks, and then the third one was the penalty that came for a free kick, long ball into the box that we never but like I said, dealt with. You must be calm to get in the four or the five. And then when it goes three one, though, you're still chasing because you've had that three goal advantage. So yeah. that was why you, when you look back now, you would have went just take what we can get and see what happens tomorrow. But and what would have got you through? What scoreline would have got you through? Would Finnell have got you through? It's three two, I think, would have been fine oh, in the end. God. Yeah. That is a worst oh. that. Uh, are we going for a breakfast coffee after this? Absolutely. We'll invite, we'll, we're going back we'll ask these two or we'll just we go ourselves. He was a bit raging, wasn't he? The last, the last time we were. Shambles, what? And Kev, his hospitality was good last night. Uh, was it? We're here, lovely. Girls were well impressed. Good job, that's why I'm here, just to make sure the girls are all settled in. <laughs> yeah, the first one over. No, that's because he, sure was, he was actually working as a school guard <laughs> <guitar> last night. <laughs> <laughs> I thought no, that no, was. He, he's, he's just here to show people their seats. So he's done that well, didn't he? I must admit, I've been quite. I've not really seen much of women's football, so I was quite interested to ask the girls where they played, yeah. who they played, but I was talking to the girl that played with Arsenal. Yep, Lisa. Uh, ah, she was girl. sound by the way. Girl. 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 Uh-huh. Yeah, she was sound, so I was like, that's that I saw. She's always saying she's on mega money. Is it actually on mega money, huh? Aye. Mere than what he's getting here? Are you pulling hairs at his leg? I'm pulling hairs at my leg, because I was saying it was bored. asshole last night. Getting <laughs> <laughs> right, well England beat Germany, yes or no, Leanne Crichton? Give us it in a German mm. accent, please, if you could. <laughs> no Yalla! Thanks. No thanks. Uh, will they be... I honestly think Germany might do it. Yes. I, do. I think England will beat them. Eh? I think England I beat think them. There's too much it. pressure on them. I think them. England individually, they've got as good a individuals as any other team in the thing, and they just haven't quite got that right yeah, formation, no, I, yeah. right score. And I think once they get that system that works for them, mm-hmm. I think they could be dangerous because they've got too many good players and not to be dangerous. I think Germany, I think they always do well in tournaments, but they've not really. The two of them haven't set the tournament on fire yet. No. And I think England's got more chance of doing that than, and I think that Germany are an aging team to the path, the the path the, spine of their team the two of them, the path that they've got to get to the final, like what a game! It's basically the, the semi final for me mm-hmm. the morning night because they whoever wins it, I think they get to the final. Is your mate Kevin Phillips? Is he playing? I know he started the first three ah, games. Is he playing? Uh, I think he's just dropped back now. He's aging a wee bit, yeah. so playing in the middle. Fair play, I mean, it's like him for Sunderland all the years now. He's yeah, playing centre mid for England. Uh, he's adapted his game, isn't he? Brilliant. It's amazing. I think Germany there. The mentality. How? We've got mentality. the, the mentality. He's a wee German accent. I know what he's going to say. No. Yeah. The German mentality is, <laughs> an, is in the elite. Like, listen, I coach and there's been a few German kids came through and stuff, and they're stronger than me. It's <laughs> quite the comparison. <laughs> nah, they are on. They are. Yeah, I've seen him coaching probably about 20. Never seen one German kid at it. Never been a German kid. Because the, the kid turned up with a German tap, staying a bit in his German. No, but. And how do you know he's stronger than you? Did you re- he's wrestling. No, no, that way, like, just when you speak to them and that, and they, you know what I mean? And they don't really buy into it. But listen, I, I think... Uh, Does he mean a stronger mentality? Aye. aye. But I think we... Ge- but you take a lot of your coaching for German coaching, didn't you? With a... Uh, aye, sniffing the... Uh, <laughs> old. Do you know who I actually did take it for? Leanne's brother, Colin. Genius. Is he? Absolute genius, that guy. And he actually he is, is, and he knows he's fit. But I, I hear, when I hear Leanne on the radio and on uh, sports and stuff, it's coming straight for your brother's mouth, that. So you actually just copied oh, the brother? That's a bit harsh. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good guy, but he's not that good. <laughs> <laughs> is he a, so he's a coach? Yeah, he does a bit of coaching. He does coaching, yeah. I, but he's, he has to get back into it because he is, he is very, very good. Yeah. Not just good. It's good though, like, I just speak football. Like, but he gets annoyed time, because he always he's, says that he's you... He's really passionate about it as well. And he always says when you're on BBC, you always speak with a posh accent. 
and he always oh, says, no. and he always says, and start speaking properly. She went, to, she went back to scheme mode today, sir. I love that. She's been scheme mode today. Just need to try and mix it. No, you do, don't you? Sometimes you do that when you speak. Big Charlie McGrew. He's Charlie on here, he's Charles on the BBC yeah, and the radio, aren't you? on. I'm like, is that actually him talking? That yeah. accent? Dinner not dip. People, didn't change. Never change. Do you think German England, do you think England can do it? England will beat them, huh? I think so. Uh, Mac, they're not scoring a lot of goals, are they? I know, but I think Germany are poor. Josh Windass tipped them to win at the start. I think I, I, England have, on, on, England have got better players, eh? Mm -hmm. And the attacking areas. Who's, who's going who's gonna to go, score goals for Germany? I don't know, but we've probably scored yeah. more goals Sane. than two scored Gnabry. I know, but are they, are they actual goal scorers? Thomas Guys Miller. like Sterling, Thomas Kane, you know they can, if Thomas, they get a chance, they'll score. Thomas Kane's Miller's, not had any chances yet. Thomas Miller's one of the highest goal scorers in uh, international right history. Bayern Munich. How did he play behind the striker? He's not a striker, that's what he's playing up front for Germany. But what I'm saying is if Werner a bomb zone... Werner's not going to score either. No, no, he's not going to score, but what I'm saying is what he does with Chelsea, bomb zone, yeah. and then the space is created for Miller then to go and score. But he does, because Miller doesn't ever score a brilliant goal, but he will always be in the right positions. So, you've got that man running against him. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be honest, I'm caught, I've, not, I've not even watched a minute in any game. No. no, you don't, because you don't stop talking up on that right. balcony, don't you know? Yeah, but I just think England, I think England have got... I think England have got enough to beat Germany. Aye, I'll, I'll On paper, they 100% have, but I just don't think they've, they've got going, I don't think. Mm. For the, the, big games, for the brilliant, they're big game players. But the brilliant creative players they've got, they're not scoring a barrel of bloody goals. Yeah. I think Germany's got a better team. I heard you and Andy saying England's got better players, I don't think so at all. Nah. If you look at their centre mids, Kimmich and Goretzka, Faye Bayern, Miller in the hole, Gnabry, Sane and uh, Werner, that's better than... England. But that front four is better than guys like Ford and Sterling Kane. Nah, no, nah, it's not at all. But the midfield is Kimmich. <laughs> it was and... good knowledge, well, I liked that. Uh, uh -huh. Kimmich and Gnabry. He knows he's, because his uncle's a big Bayern Munich fan. Aye, so I know German football inside it. But that's what I'm saying, their centre mids are stronger. The only thing is Hummel's going to start. Can you see imagine England, a race with him and Kane? See England, see if Henderson and Maguire comes back into the team. They, they've got a better team in Germany. So who are you, who are you playing there for England? Henderson, I'm playing Henderson. Who? Mount and I'd, I'd put Foden back in. Yep. Centre mid? Uh -huh, centre mid. Mountain phone and centre mid? Yeah. <laughs> wow, this guy, seriously. Wow, that's serious. Of course you would. Course I'd, I'd, I'd put Grealish in there. Grealish, mate. Grealish, Grealish is brilliant. Wow. Why are you not going to play now? I'm taking one of these stupid centre mids out, oh, Rice, or Rice. Keep your mate, mate Kevin Phillips, okay, and put him. Right, so you, you, you're playing Grealish centre mid as well? No, I'm, play, I'm putting Foden back into midfield. And you're playing Grealish? Grealish up, man. Kane and who? Kane and Sterling, that. Sterling scores your goals. Sack he's been the one though. player actually that has yeah. stepped up yeah. for all the criticism yeah. he's received yeah. this he's season. He's not a top player, sorry, Raheem's still in there. But he, just, I, but he rises above it though. Yeah. Yeah. He, he doesn't let really it get to yeah. him. I love that. That's yeah. an elite mentality. Yeah, he gets it? constantly hounded with English media. So much pressure on him. He's been ditched by Pep. You're in first name terms with Pep as well, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Um, him and Brian Kidd are still quite close. That's all right. Yeah. Oh, so here's one for Jeremy as well. Set at half, Hummel's done me. What, do you think uh, Kane's going to run him? No, but Probably slow race he, doesn't, he used to be. He, he doesn't even defend the box well now, Hummels, eh? Mm. But that Rudiger, used to be what he was good at. Rudiger, he really, yeah. never really had pace, but he couldn't. He was about to defend the box. Rudiger's just won the Champions League. Yeah? Rudiger? Ah, Rudiger's not, he's not top level, though, Rudiger. Eh? He takes Stones and Maguire master. over Rudiger every day of the week. Who? Stones and Maguire over Rudiger every no day. No chance. Stones better than Rudiger? See if, oh, see if Rudiger wow. was that good. Why would Man City not just go and sign him? Because he's with Chelsea. Yeah, but the, just Man City in the Champions League final? No. <laughs> who, who are you saying is better, Stones or Rudiger? Mate, you're not saying Stones is better than Rudiger. He's got a 100%. Oh, wow. Stones is better than Rudiger. Mate, you think that seriously? Yeah. Mate, Rudiger. For a modern day set of half, Rudiger, Rudiger it. is unbelievable, Stones mate, for Chelsea. I'm not sold. Rudiger Stones. couldn't get a game for Chelsea. Aye, because he's like Lambert and Vicklair. They've got a top class manager and he's put them every game. No, Zuma played ahead of him or not, mate. If Curve Zuma plays ahead of him, he's not going to get a good Stones is, though, in any other team other than like, a Man City team. I think if you take him out there and put him with maybe not the same quality of players, I don't think he's. <laughs> I think he's protected a lot. I honestly do. I don't think he's ever exposed. Ah, because that before Diaz came in, he was a shambles. Yeah. Before Diaz came in, he, and again, company carried him. And then now and Diaz even this season, him. when you look at even Man City fans, I'm not overly impressed with him. Who was Stones? The Stones. Yeah. All right. And then. Maybe this has been a badging for you today. I know. Ach, mate, I've been out, do you know what I mean? So far. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 right, Croatia v Spain. Who's winning that? Spain. Marat again can't kind of score, mate. No, he can't kind of score, but I think, I think the people are better than Croatia. Opportunities will come, so I've got to take my own. Croatia. 
Croatia's a good team, mate. I know they're a good team. They're relying on Modric maybe too much. There's two Less. versions of Croatia. Aye. Whatever one turns up. Like, you've seen it over oh, the yeah. first two games. Not good enough. Aye. When it mattered. Yeah. Top players. Like I just think Spain, Spain totally passed them off the park, and I know that I know the first game they passed, 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 and didn't go anywhere with it. But I think <laughs> they keep the ball that length of time, they're going to create opportunities. England did that to Croatia. England kept the ball, moved it a lot, and obviously ended up beating Croatia. I think Spain do the same. I, I hate watching Spain. Ah, I know it's difficult. They're not the same now. They're not nah. the same team as what we've been probably spoiled over the years. Yeah, Major I've, tournaments. Not, I've seen them. I think you, even though when Fabregas is sitting saying, I'm not that convinced. You've probably got a point. Yeah. But he's no sold on them. So what is it that they're still trying to play that same way, but they've not got players that are as good to do it? I just know the same quality. Just the end Final product. third, I think. Yeah. Just nah, there's no end product. It and just also, seems to teams be... know what they're Aye. all about. If you sit in compact against them, you can defend it quite comfortably, but you need to be switched on for 90 minutes. Um, but like you say, Marata up front, he's, 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 he's actually came out and said that the, the, the stick he's received is affecting him mentally. That's not going to help. Yeah. No, you don't see that. You, you no. don't keep t- put that in public. Sh- no, no, people know that you've, you've rattled. Uh, France for Switzerland tonight as well. France, easy. Oh, that could be five. Aye. Could be five. I think so, mate. Aye. You could be right, by the way. Aye, it could be. Could be a big high-scoring game tonight. Yeah. Easily. Aye. Switzerland Mbappe. were so poor. Yeah. Aye. So poor against Italy. Oh my God, they were terrible wow. against Italy, weren't they? Honestly, that, that was one of the games I actually did watch. You would have been desperate to get taken off at half time yeah. if you were Aye. playing in that game. So mm-hmm. bad. How have they got to last sixteen Switzerland? Mate? That just shows you that that is tournament football. Yeah. Nah, you're right, when you yeah. write teams off at the beginning and well, all it takes is one win to get through a group or... Denmark lost the first points. two games in the quarter-final. I know. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So... Yeah. It's, it is Your decision game, aren't it? Grosvenor Sport. You know Grosvenor Sport? I've heard about them. Brilliant, isn't it? Listening to the podcast uh-huh. all over it. Uh, you can get involved, free to play game. Unbelievable. You play, you've been playing it? Every day. The best cup in the world. I think you had a shocker yesterday. Did I? With the Holland game. <sighs> when did the guy, guy sent after? Eh? Uh, you should what? cancel that bet then. <laughs> Shouldn't they? <laughs> uh, you can win. What, what can you win? Thank you. No, big. Big money. Big money. <laughs> uh, simple yes or no game cash prize. We won each round as well as an overall leaderboard prize of ten thousand pounds. Wow. Wow. Nothing to. Uh, nah. Pocket money to you. And you. <laughs> Everyone who gets six or more out also gets a ten pound free bet. Go to G. Sport.com forward slash open goal to play. Two oh, seconds. What's, what's harder? The World Cup or the Champions League? Ooh. Champions League. Champions League, probably. Yeah. That's unbelievable teams in that, aren't there? Who's the best team? Quarter finals you got the last time, aren't it? Quarter finals. Mm-hmm. Who's the best team? Uh, who won it this year? Maybe Chelsea. Yeah. No, Barca battered Chelsea. Oh, well, Chelsea. Who's, 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 who's the worst in the sports scene? <laughs> yeah. Who's the worst in sports team? Me. No chance. <laughs> Mikey, Faddy, or Big Tom. Big Tom, I like Big Tom. I like make make mistakes and that and laughs about it. Uh-huh. I mean, that's what you want to see, isn't it? Nah, yes. They're all good. Uh, all good. Just watch this man, he'll be on sports scene this year. What do you think? A yeah. few BBC that bit, appearances. Is that, a bit, is that an exclusive? Exclusive? No. I couldn't no. drop the money to go to the BBC. Is, he st- is, it, is, it, is it struggling <laughs> that bad? What's he now? Made a few appearances. I, I thought it was going to be a regular thing. Obviously, when they get desperate, it's thrown out of way. Big man's only football player fished and all. He is one that you are desperate to change his accent when he comes on to that. I mean, I don't even know where my accent's from. 17 years in Strath, 10 years in Sunderland. There's a bit of Peter Reid in there, isn't there? And then for 12 years in Cumberland. Where else is a bit of Peter Reid in? See Peter Reid, he had the stinkiest slips ever when I was a young boy. <laughs> yeah. Be... Look up, did you try to iron that t shirt today? Oh, God, dude, man. Put the iron on as soon as it get caught to it. <laughs> try to rip the iron off my ma on it. Wait, do you know my ma, right? Went out in a night. Oh, out. I know your mum, right? That's good, seriously. <laughs> she, she went out a night out the other night and got drunk and came in to me the next day. She was pure panic and she went, Paul, I had five donuts last night. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a shambles in it, man. Five drunk, donuts in a night. Imagine what? drunk and donuts. While she was dr- <laughs> drunk and donuts, good to cut like that. What, she was drink- eating donuts while she was drinking? It was a five crispy, the head like that was like a party in the head. Donut like, party? F- like food and all that, and people brought crispy cream down. My mum had five of them. Wow. <laughs> man, that is superb for all that. Crispy what was it? What did you see him doing with a, don- a, a donut in that distance? Kev? Uh-huh. Aye, but who was he doing it with? <laughs> right, Leanne Crichton, wow, oh, legend. Thanks, guys.